How to How You Do Cousins, Rusty here to give you some more tips on some stuff that you can buy and sell to make a buck or two. Today's video is going to be about a specific set of items which you may or may not realize carry some value. You can oftentimes find these very cheaply out at local thrift stores or antique stores, um, things like that, yard sales, uh, Goodwills. Let's get right into it. A one and a two and a three. Rusty the reseller, he'll sell you the shirt off his back. <laughs> well, I have done it. G.I. Joe's. Transformers. And similar toys from the early uh 1980s and into the 1990s now i know what you're saying rusty um i know that transformers and gi joes and star wars and ninja turtles and he-man and all that is collectible tell me something i don't know all right well what this video is about is not to tell you that these action figures and toys can carry value what i'm here to tell you today is that you don't have to have the figure you don't even have to have the packaging all you have to have is one little component or one little um, piece that goes with the toy. Because in some cases, folks, those carry even more value than the figure themselves. What I have here is a G.I. Joe, and he's complete. He's got all of his uh, components, his, his sword, his backpack, his bow and arrow. And he's also got this cutout portion of the back card that would have come with this. Now, this is a complete set. But what I have down here to show you today is a variety of components, pieces. We've got little missiles. We've got the tops off of vehicles. We've got little action figures that are in pieces. We've got little helmets. From some Star Wars characters. Here we've got some various uh, missiles and different weapons and stuff that came from Transformers. All kinds. It's just some sort of component or piece that came off of a G.I. Joe vehicle. Here's a big, uh, like a kind of a machine gun type thing. Actually, this would go on the side of a, a, a motorcycle bike that is a, a, a vintage G.I. Joe vehicle. What else have we got here? More missiles. Here's a part of a G.I. Joe com uh, component. This thing opens up. It's clearly a Cobra. Uh, a person sits in there. This thing rotates, but it's, it's incomplete. Uh, it's missing several pieces of that. Here's a little deal that shoots missiles, but both of the missiles are gone. A lot of times people fish these out of their closets. Their piece is broken or missing from it, and they think... Ah, uh, this is not going to be worth anything. Here, this is missing one of the little legs, a tripod that holds it up. Most of it's complete. This is just a little platform. It comes with no person, nothing like that. But you can see on the bottom here, it says Hasbro, and it says 1982. And then you can see that there's a little number. The great thing about G.I. Joe, for example, is that all of their components have these little reference numbers. They oftentimes have the date the year, and then a component. Here are a couple of old little gas cans that go off of the back of a, a, a Jeep. But if you look in here, I should have probably pulled this out. But if I, if I pull it up, you can see there. Do you see it's upside down? But there's a number on the inside of there, a code, a serial number. And you can use that online to look up these components. It'll tell you which vehicle it came from, and then you know how to research its value. And you can sell these things by themselves. Here's one that just says United States on it, but if I look over here, you can see. This is from, from a Mark IV, and this is a, you know, it's got a number, a reference number on there. So I can look that thing up. Here's a little vehicle that's missing all of the components. Basically, this is just the base part. The cockpit release, elevator release is right there, but there's, there's nothing holding people in the cockpit, as you can see. But inside here, on here someplace, is a number, and is gonna, here we go, I don't know, that's not it. But it's gonna have it on here, written someplace, where I can look it up, and know, you know, where it came from. And so, folks, Believe it or not, there are, uh, I've seen, for example, this little gas can, I've seen a couple of these gas cans sell for more than the vehicle that these gas cans came on. 
Uh, and it's just wild. Also, a lot of times people threw away the uh, the cards, the little cardboard thing. They pulled it out at Christmas time. They were so happy. And then this portion just went out in the trash with everything else. There's a lot of these uh, action figures still left out there, but there are not as many of the cards. And there's about 70 in here. These things, believe it or not, just this piece of cardboard that says who the person was and their, and their code name from G.I. Joe from the 1980s. These things can sell anywhere from six, eight dollars all the way up to 15 to 20 dollars a piece, depending on the figure and the year. Just the cardboard. So if you have things like this, but you're missing the figures, guys, don't pitch these out. They have value. Here's some for Transformers. These are six different ones that were Transformer pieces. The thing that was interesting about these is that not only were they a toy by themselves, this is like a little uh, dump truck called, uh, or like a little um, tractor type thing, it's called the Bone Crusher, but these actually, uh, one of all three, I guess there's six of these, you put them together and connect them and it would turn into I believe this is called the Devastator. Yep, together they transform into the Mighty Devastator. So what I have right here, I don't have the the actual uh, components, but I have all the cards. So for somebody who wants to uh, have a complete set, all of these uh, components and the cards, they're going to be looking for these cards. I could sell them individually or I could sell them as a set. Even instruction booklets for a lot of here's one for a Game Boy, which is an electronic game system. Then you've got this one, uh, Ironhide. It's an Autobot. It's a Transformer. Got more Transformers here. Wedge. Uh, another Transformer one here. People, uh, these get thrown away. These get lost. They get damaged. They get torn, um, and they get pitched. And people who are collecting right now, they want complete sets of the the toys either that they played with when they were kids. Or as a collector, they just want to get these. So these kinds of things have value. You can sometimes find this kind of stuff in a bag like this for a dollar uh, at Goodwills and places like that. And, you know, you wouldn't necessarily know unless you researched it or were told by somebody that these can carry value. You research what they are. You list them individually. Someone is going to buy those. I recently bought a lot for $50 recently on Facebook Marketplace. Well, doggone you. Will you open up, please? Oh, my goodness. And in that lot was a bunch of uh, 19, you know, like basically early 2000s action figures and Star Wars uh, people. And inside of that lot for $50 that I bought was this. If I dump it over, what you're looking at here, folks, is a variety of <laughs> weapons. They're all loose. Somebody, instead of, uh, you know, pitching them or losing them, they they they, sort, they just dumped them all on this one thing to kind of keep a hold of them. Some of these things belong to G.I. Joe type characters or um, army men type people. Some of these are Star Wars components, Star Wars uh, blaster rifles and things like that. Um, I'm going to have to do some research. Here's a little lightsaber. You know, you know, you know where that comes from. Each of these individually carry value if i can figure out which ones go with uh which type of action figure then i can put them together in little lots like i could do a lightsaber lot i could do a you know a machine gun lot um if i figured out what these components go to uh, i could say gi joe lot or star wars lot um this looks like um you know something that went on someone's back maybe a backpack there may be some yeah, like this right here. This is like a like a jet pack uh, or something like that that would have gone on the back of somebody. And there's like a little spring inside. So one of these little um, things probably clicks down in there and can shoot out. Um, all kinds of things. These are little bases that a Star Wars character can stand on. They got little holes in their feet so they can stand on. That's a display piece. Um, all of these things carry value, guys. So if you came across a little baggie with a bunch of components... Uh, vehicle components, uh, stuff from action figures. The kid just wanted to play with the figure and didn't care about the toys, or maybe they were too young and you didn't want them to mess with it, uh, lose it in your couch cushions, things like that. Uh, they end up in spots like this, and I got all these missiles and things I can sell. Folks, um, these carry value. Collectors want these things. Um, they want to complete their sets. These are the things that easily get lost down on the couch cushions and stuff like that. The cat comes along and plays with it and it gets lost under the couch or something. 
Uh, all kinds of cool things. Be on the lookout for this stuff. Now, you don't have to take my word for it, folks. Let's take a look real fast on eBay, and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. How to cousins, we're going to go through this now. I'm going to show you a few of these I've already pulled up and give you an idea of exactly what I'm talking about. First off, we're going to start here. I looked up in eBay just G.I. Joe weapon only, all right? And this is what pops up. I have this going, I think, from highest first. But you can see here, right off the bat, we have this lot of 1980s G.I. Joe weapons, helmets, and accessories. $95 for all of this stuff right here. Uh, Ten bids on that. As we scroll down, you're going to see various things. Look at this one. It's just a little... A uh, pistol, probably the size of my thumbnail or smaller, for $65. This is from a vintage G.I. Joe character, number 24, Keel Hall. It's a silver pistol. Uh, just that silver pistol alone. Here's one that's uh, featuring these cards I showed you a minute ago from a G.I. Joe. And some little components there, $60 for that stuff. Scrolling on down here, we have a G.I. Joe weapon, uh, number 25 from Sergeant Slaughter. It's his baton. Again, this tiny little piece of plastic for $50. Folks, I've seen that character himself go for half that price. Uh, but his baton, somebody needed his baton. They had everything else, and they wanted that to complete their set. Here's a, a part, um, looks like a, a, a Sky Striker helmet. A little plastic helmet to go on a little G.I. Joe. $39.99 plus $4 in shipping. And this keeps going, folks. Here's a weapon accessory pack here for a Cobra, uh, the Bats backpack. Another little lot here, $31. Another lot, $29.99. Here's a little machine gun in a backpack that goes to a Cobra Viper, uh, $29.99. So, folks, if you have these and your kids say don't care about having the, the little weapons, you could make your money back from the cost of those, uh, uh, just buying those action figures by themselves. Let's move on now to uh, another one here. This one, I just looked up Transformer weapon only. Okay, so we're moving from G.I. Joe's over to Transformers. It's another collectible um, category of, of figures, action figures. As I scroll down here, here's the vintage Transformers 1986 Steel Jaw mini cassette tape. This um, can open up, I think, into a little Transformer itself. Usually, I've seen little dinosaurs and things like that. And then the little weapons, $50 for that. Just below it here, the Transformers G1 Dirge complete set of weapons. This is not the figure, okay? This is just the weapons and the little booklets, like I showed you. $44.99. Scrolling down, here's the Jetfire gun clip. Not even the gun, not the action figure. The clip by itself, $41.99. Somebody needed that clip. It got lost or broken, and that's what they needed. Right here's the G1 um, part uh, only from Starscream, the missiles. I wonder if that's uh, like a jet, uh, like an airplane or something, transformer, but $35.99 for those two little, I mean, they're this big, folks. They're super tiny. Uh, and a couple more here. This is a in G1 Inferno weapons, the complete set with the instruction booklet, 31 bucks, four bids on that. And the list keeps going here, $29 for another set of weapons. So the same is true for... Um, G.I. Joe's, and um, these uh, Transformers, as well as others. Let's get down to some more of these. Now we're looking at one that says Star Wars weapon only. Star Wars, you know that they're collectible. Right here off the bat, 1985 Star Wars Ewoks, the Cartoon King Gornish weapon. His little plastic weapon, 14 bids for $86 for something that's about uh, the length of my index finger. Just below that, we got the Ewok Lumot bow, little plastic brown bow, $67, $67, folks, $84. i am assuming that's the end. Uh, 77 was the first um, run of the action figures for Star Wars. 84 is probably the very end. Maybe what they call the last 17 figures, which are highly collectible and difficult to find. This is one, I believe, of those Ewoks. Uh, and uh, that's it's a weapon. Just below that, you got another Ewok, Wicket, um, 59. I believe Wicket was the one that uh, Leia encountered first out in uh, the forest moon of Endor out there. But he's a little staff here, it's a little weapon, $59, nine bits. Here's just someone's head. It's a Hot Toys, a Rogue One head for 60 bucks. 
Down below that, we got a 1983 indoor weapon gun. This is Leia's gun. Um, or it says Leia ATST driver. So you got this little blue gun. It's the size of a fingernail here. $50. And as we scroll down, you're going to find more. There's Lego stuff oriented. I've sold little guns from Lego, and those are like my pinky fingernail. Um, and those things sell. Here's one, a Biker Scout Blaster Gun, $22.99. Um, here's the Star Wars Rebel Commando action figure gun, $21.99. And the list goes on, folks. All kinds of these. So the same is true for a lot of these vintage figures. Here we got Ninja Turtles. Ninja Turtles weapon only. Let's look at this. Um, these are not in any particular order. Just what has sold recently. We've got a the Cave Turtle Katana. 13 bucks here. We got a nice little lot of Ninja Turtle parts and weapons. $55. $6.99 for this $90.91 tattoo action figure turtle. Um, some sort of a weapon. $60 for the 13 inch Ninja Turtle um, nunchucks here. And there's just more of them. Look at this. This little uh, like a scythe weapon from an old toy. $80. $80 for a little piece of orange plastic. Um, here's a belt from one of the original Ninja Turtles, it's like Michelangelo's belt for seven bucks. Here's the 93 Ninja Turtles, uh, weapons, some, uh, blue and, and pink there. And then others, guys, I mean, just look at me, scroll down through this. Here's a lot of purple weapons, $25, a single knife, $12.33. Here are the tiny little throwing stars, $20 for two of those from the 1990 original, uh, Ninja Turtles. Incredible, folks. Incredible. Now let's look over at lots. And if you have more than one and you want to sell them in a lot, you can do Star Wars accessory lot. If you have Star Wars, let's look at this. You've got just a piece, a component off of the snow speeder. That's a vehicle part. Here's a lot uh, for some G.I. Joe Classified. Um, G.I. Joe Cobra. $567 for it says a huge weapons or guns accessories lot. And there's a lot there. 29 bids. Here's one for 112. This is original Star Wars weapons. You can see some of these uh look like maybe stormtrooper blaster rifles or various things. You got a little something that went around someone's waist or someone's neck here. Here's another one. Vintage Star Wars lot. A bunch of things. 20 bucks. That's a pretty good deal on that. Here's one for 23 vintage Star Wars accessories. These are a lot of the blue colored rifles and, and things. $200. $200 for what looks to be around 20. Uh, it's 23, it says it in the title. Um, the point is, folks, if you have these laying around or if you find a baggie of these loose toys, these loose weapons or accessories, don't discount it. Don't think to yourself, well, I don't know what they come from. Uh, it's not that hard to figure it out. Just do a little, spend an hour. I mean, that sounds like a long time. It really isn't. Spend an hour looking up uh, accessories, weapons, until you find something like that. It gives you an idea, and you'll know what they're going to sell for. Here's one more. Star Wars vehicle part. Even parts or components. So we talked about weapons, accessories for the action figures. But what about the, uh, the vehicles themselves? Well, there are pieces, like I said before, like missiles or uh, little things that shoot out of them and stuff. Uh, little doors or the top parts. Those things pop off. Sometimes they break. And you can find these little components here. Looking down here, you can see uh, we have some of these damaged vehicles selling. Here's a an X-Wing fighter, which is for parts. Sometimes people put these up and they say, for parts or repair. That means this thing's incomplete or it's damaged. This right here is the at, -AT chin guns. $130 for these parts that go on the at, -AT. That's this thing right here, the big old walker that was on the uh, ice planet of Hoth in the Empire Strikes Back. All this talk about accessories and components and figures. Well, Rusty, what if I come across something that is clearly damaged? It's broken. Uh, is there any value in something like that? I mean, it's it's not even in, in good condition anymore. Well, it depends on what it is, but in a lot of cases, yeah, it's still got value. I just look up G.I. Joe Damaged. That's all you have to do, and this is what you see. First off, it's just a couple of legs, loose legs off of a figure, $23.99. It says for, uh, with feet, pair for parts or repair. Just below that, you've got an old G.I. Joe that someone tugged on too hard, and or it was old and the rubber band thing inside of that, that black rubber band just broke, 
and now you just got a couple of legs, a pelvis, and a torso. Still sold for $229.99, folks. For parts or repair or restoration, it says. It was a mail-away one, one where you had to mail off, and then it, got, it wasn't something that was typically in uh, a local department store. Below that, you got just a pair of feet from a vintage G.I. Joe, $15. Now we got an 89 Hasbro G.I. Joe Frag Viper. He's just in a bunch of pieces. Now, it was only $1.50, but $4.65 in shipping. They made three or four bucks off of stuff that a lot of people would just throw out in the trash. As we keep going down, you're going to see various vehicles that are broken in complete. $25, $8, $10. Here's a damaged G.I. Joe. Still sold for $10 plus $4.20 in shipping. Here's some more feet. Um, <laughs> I mean, here's one. Look at this. It's missing heads. It's missing feet. But these are old G.I. Joes from the 70s. Still sold for $87.86 with 20 bids. People still want this stuff, guys. So look at it. Here's just some arms. Just some arms ripped off. $39.99. I can't tell you how many times uh, in the last couple of years I've gone by a Goodwill or some sort of thrift store and they had a baggie of old um, Barbies or G.I. Joes or things that were broken into pieces. And, and I thought... Like most people would, I thought, well, no one's going to want that. I just passed on it. I wish I hadn't, folks. Next time you see this stuff, you need to know they can still have value even if they're damaged. Okay, that's the point I'm trying to make. The next couple ones I'm going to look up here are going to say, uh, this one I looked up just damaged Hasbro. Now, Hasbro was the brand that made a lot of these action figures back in the 80s and 90s. G.I. Joe, for example, and Star Wars um, or Hasbro. Um, were involved. And so if you just look up that manufacturer and you look up damage, this is the kind of stuff you're going to see. Look at this right here. Venice G.I. Joe, it's an African-American man, commander, adventure team. He's broken into pieces. He's missing his head and his arms are pulled in pieces. $482 for that. Something a lot of people would just pitch. We've got others down here. I'm trying to give you some good ideas of stuff that's not necessarily sealed, stuff you might come across. Here's a bunch of 1980 G.I. Joe Damaged figure cards and vehicle instructions, $192.50 for broken, damaged things. Um, so, you know, if that stuff's in a bag waiting to be pitched in your closet or something, folks, pull it out, look it up, and see if you can sell it. Next one I looked up here is Kenner. Kenner Damage. Kenner is the brand that made a lot of the classic, original uh, Star Wars stuff. As well as other things here, the very first one you see here is from Thunderhawk. It's a Camaro car from 1985, $23. Someone's ripped the doors off of it. Parts, for parts, as is, it says. Here's a damaged X-Wing fighter, $55. A snow speeder is $15. And the list keeps going on. They made the old Ghostbusters stuff, $10 for this Proton pack. Here's an old T-Rex from the original Jurassic Park, 1993, $30. Um... Here's an uh, arm's been ripped off of this uh, Superpowers Mantis figure here. Uh, someone took a best offer off of 25 bucks on that. All kinds of little stuff. What is this? A little T-Rex Dino Damage piece. A flesh wound. <laughs> this just looks like a little blob of plastic someone dripped. And they uh, took a best offer off of basically $50 here. And guys, the list is long. Uh, there's a lot of these things that have sold. In fact, in the last three months, 938 listings have sold under the title that had Kenner damaged. The last one I'm going to show you here, guys, is Mattel. You guys are probably familiar with Mattel. It's another one of those big toy manufacturers. And I just looked up Mattel damaged. What has sold recently? Well, we got a Batman Adventures girl. Uh, she's damaged, seven dollars. Here's three Monster High dolls. Monster High is no, mon no longer manufactured. If you come across those, they can get, bring some good money. Twenty-five dollars and ninety-nine cents, even though they have no clothes and they're missing legs and and hair and heads. Here's an old 1982 Masters of the Universe Skeletor. He's his leg is detached. Twenty dollars for that one. Some people get these things and they fix them, folks. They they repair them, they uh, put them back together, or they'll use them to make custom uh, type things, especially like in highly collectible domains like Star Wars. They're making uh, custom things all the time. Some more Jurassic Park stuff here, Thomas the Train Engine, and a variety of things, Disney stuff, 
uh, Barbie stuff, anything that Mattel had their hand in, folks, could, could qualify. And you're seeing there's a variety of things here, guys. The point is, if it's damaged, if it's broken, if it's an accessory, if it's a weapon, if it's a component from a toy, um, if it's instruction booklets, uh, if it's the cardboard that was behind the figure that was sold in, all of those things can carry value because what we're talking about is a collector's market. And collectors want every single piece that was originally a part of that in their collection. Folks, I hope that I gave you a few ideas. Maybe you need to go back through that closet or that uh, storage container, that basement, that attic, and look for your old childhood toys. Maybe call your mom and dad and say, hey, uh, do I still have all those G.I. Joes or whatever it is? If you're looking for a way to make an extra buck or two, just know that that stuff you held on to all those years has value. And even if they're not in perfect condition, even if they're missing a head or an arm, or maybe if you just have the weapons or the accessories, components like that can sell for big money to the collector base out there. Uh, good luck hunting. Don't pass on those baggies of mixed uh, accessories next time. And see what you might have laying around the house. You won't regret it. Take care, folks. Rusty, rusty, rusty hair.